Oh hey, how's it going everyone? Hope everyone had a lovely long weekend. Just in case you didn't see my post for tonight, you need, if you don't have a fancy yoga block, then grab a, a tissue box. Tupperware might be a little bit better because it's, um, yeah, it's not gonna get smooshed. Um, or a small book or a shoe box, something. Okay, whilst we're waiting, let's get going. Squeeze your hands together and roll your wrists. Awesome, keep going and then all the way back. Hey Google, lovely, and then get the dance move going, nice and slow. See if you can move through a full range of motion. Awesome. Shake it off. Okay, let's do the same thing with the ankles. You know the deal. Foot flat into the ground and big circles around. Awesome. And then back the other way. Again, nice and slow. It's all right. There's a few cracks and cricks. Beautiful, okay. And then let's go the other side, so as much force as you can get, all the way around. It's good. And then change direction. Nice, keep as much force as you can going through those toes. Beautiful, right here, we're gonna do step and reach. So feet hip width apart. It's not a lunge, it's just a little step forward and then we're gonna reach up, shoulder blades together and down. And you, if you feel like it, you can come further into the, the, the stretch, you can bend your knees more, but you don't need to go into a big lunge. Open, shoulder blades together, look up, nice. Let's go back again, keep your feet hip width apart, shoulder blades together and down, and also reaching up as high as you can. Beautiful, let's do a few more step. Reach, shoulder blades together and down. Awesome. Step, reach. Beautiful, that'll do us. This time we're gonna do side step, diagonal reach. You know the drill, toes facing forward, little side step, doesn't need to be a big one, and diagonal reach, so you get a bit of a twist through your upper spine. Good, come back, go the other side. Toes facing forward, good, back, other side, good, back, other side, twist around, good, let's do one more on each side, turn, nice, one more, beautiful, nice, shake it off, okay, side reach, so we're just going to go soft knees, so you're not locking your knees out, they're nice and soft. And take your right hand, and we're just gonna go to the side so your hips are pushing out to the right. You're not back, you're not forward, it's like you're smooshed in between two walls, and stretch, push those hips out as much as you can. Let's go to the other side, knees soft, push those hip hips out, long, tall in the spine, and let's go back to the other side. Nice, and the other side. So stay, stay tall, don't lean back, don't come forward. Good, back to the other side. Nice, and then other side. Oh, lovely, I reckon that'll do us. Oh, hey Giselle, how are you? Okay, so we're going to do two exercises together and we're going to run, oh, thanks mate, and we're going to run um, those exercises three times, so just two exercises, not three in a row like normal, something a little different for a public holiday. <clears throat> so you know the drill, rest when you need. Okay, the first one is going to be a curtsy lunge into a side lunge, so come behind, up, 
and then out into a side lunge. Uh, we're going to do 20 seconds of that and I'll keep my eye on the time and tell you to switch. So it's curtsy and then you can reset if you need before you go out to the side lunge, okay? Totally up to you. And then we're going to do downward dog push-ups. Oh, beggars! How's it going, man? So downward dog push-ups. So you get into your downward dog posse. Okay, you're like an A-frame. Heels towards the ground. If you don't touch the ground, that's okay. And your head's just going to come down and up. And up. Keep your elbows tucked in, the elbow pits facing forward. If you don't want to do those on the ground, you can do them elevated on your couch, housemate, what else. And again, you want to make an A-frame so your head's in between your biceps. Down and up. Up. Beautiful. We're going to do 40 seconds of them. That's quite a lot. So rest when you need. Don't feel that you've got to, you've got to smash it out. You rest when you need. Hey, cat, how you doing? Okay, so curtsy lunge into side lunge. Do one side um, at a time. I'll give you a how when to switch. And then downward dog push-ups. Let's go. Curtsy lunge. If you want, you can reset. And then out to a side lunge. Or if you want to challenge your balance, try to keep that leg up. Toes facing forward, long tall spine. Only come down as far as you feel comfortable. Okay, let's switch sides. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Seems to be a bit coordinationally challenged today. Two, one, done. Beautiful. Okay, downward dog push-ups. Remember, you can do them elevated on your couch, chair, child, what else. Okay, rest when you need. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one, let's go. Get in your downward dog position, A-frame. Tuck your elbows in. Don't let them flare out, yeah? The range of motion is entirely up to you. The little ones are good. You just go to where it feels good for you right now. It's good guys, you're over halfway. Doing really well. So even if your heels aren't touching the ground, they're as low as they can go. One more, one more. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, we're going to go straight back into curtsy lunges to side lunges. Oh, hey, Robbie, how are you? Three, two, one. Let's go. Curtsy lunge, side lunge. Remember, you can reset. You can plant this foot to help you with your balance, whatever you like. Nice, strong knee, big toe on the ground. Okay, after the one you're doing, switch to the other side. Nice. That's good, this knee's nice and strong, yeah? Big toes on the ground. This foot's facing forward when I come to the side. You're almost there, you've got five seconds to go. Nice. Oh, lovely. Okay, we're going to go back to downward dog push-ups. Remember, if you're doing them on an elevated uh, surface, they're going to look like this. So you're still in your A-frame. Come down and up. Okay, let's go. Downward dog push-ups. Heels reach into the ground. That's good, guys. So you may have noticed these work your shoulders and triceps a little bit more, kind of less on the chest. You're over halfway. Ten seconds to go. You got it. Come on. But obviously rest if you need. Whoa. Whoa. Head rush of what? Hey. Far right. Hey, Shell and Tyler, how are you guys? Okay, 
three, two, one, last set of curtsy lunge to side lunge. Nice. Curtsy lunge to side lunge. Curtsy lunge. Side lunge. Cool. Hey, look, you guys are looking good today. What's your secret, eh? Last one. Let's switch. Nice. That's good, guys. Keep it going. Big toe on the ground. Strong knee. Foot facing forward when you come out into that side lunge. Oh, one more. One more. Boom. Nice. One last set of downward dog push-ups to go. <laughs> well, you know, Giselle, we could actually be doing Monday night sessions in the flesh. Stay tuned. Okay, down on the ground. Come down and up. Remember, you can do this one elevated on your couch. That's absolutely, absolutely cool. Keep your elbows tucked in. Range of motion is entirely up to you. That's good, guys. You're looking good. Butts in the air like you just don't care. Six seconds. Jeez, these are hard, eh? Last one. Oh, beautiful. Have a little rest. Shake it out. Okay, so first set done. Next set. You're gonna love this next set. Maybe not. We're gonna jog on the spot. When I say push up, we're gonna come down, push up, I'm back to jogging on the spot. You can also do your push up on your elevated uh, surface, jogging on the spot, push up, push up and then back, okay? Um, if you don't wanna do the push-up, don't do the push-up, totally up to you. And then you need your object, okay? Hey, are you know where you're at? So your object, and we're gonna do our diagonal yoga block, Tupperware, tissue box, shoe box, whatever holds. So you're gonna lie down on the ground, tilt your pelvis, okay? And this might be where you're at. Uh -huh. If you want a bit more, you can lift up your head and your neck. If you want even more, you can lift up the other leg, but your back has to stay flat on the ground and you got to be pushing that so that if I tried to punch it out, it wouldn't go. We're going to do 20 seconds on one side. If I remember, I'll tell you to switch and do 20 seconds on the other side. Ready? So we're jogging on the spot. Remember, when I said push up, you get down, do one push up, come back up. It's not a burpee. Take your time. You can do it elevated to your couch, ottoman, child, whatever. Push up, let's go. Nice. So you want to get down and up as quickly as you can, but do it so that you're in alignment. Shoulders are over your wrists. Push up. Take your time. Don't rush. Push up. You guys, you're so good. Push up. Ah, nice. Beautiful. So grab your object. Tupperware container, yoga block, tissue box, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Okay, and then lie down. Tilt your pelvis. Opposite elbow to knee. Okay, squeeze. If you want, you can lift up your head. Check that this leg is at a right angle-ish. If you want more, lift up your other leg, but squeeze. You're really pushing this elbow and this knee together as much as you can. Okay, let's switch sides. Remember, option one is just squeeze. Option two, head and neck up. Option three, lift up that other leg if you like, but you're squeezing this. If you use the tissue box, uh, be careful because you don't want to crumple it, I suppose. Two, one, ah, have a rest. Whew. 
Oh, that gets the old core going, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to go back to jogging and push-ups. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Just a little, doesn't have to be massive jog. If you want to up the intensity and go hard, go for it. It's up to you. Push-ups. Push-up. Good. Push-up. Push up. You guys have got it. You're not missing a beat. Push up. You're doing really well. Keep it going. Keep it going. Push up. Nice. Rest. Grab your rectangular object. Let's head down again. Remember, tilt your pelvis, your back needs to be as flat as you can get it. If your back starts to arch or if it starts to hurt, you stop. Okay, opposite knee to elbow. Tilt your pelvis, back's flat. If your neck's okay with this, you can lift your neck and your head up. If you're here and you want a bit more, lift that other foot up. But squeeze. Squeeze as much as you can so that if you go like that, it's not going to go flying. 90 degrees here. Okay, guys, let's switch. Whew. Okay, squeeze. If you want more, lift the leg up. Squeeze. Give yourself a little test. Have a little punch. If it doesn't come out, awesome. You've got five seconds to go, everybody. Keep going. Unless you're back so in which case, stop. Done. Whoa. You know, I thought I'd be safe without the bandana. I thought, oh, it's a bit chilly. I won't need it. I'm not going to sweat. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Three, two, one. We're back to jogging on the spot. You go as fast as you like. If you want to get your heart rate going, move a little bit quicker. Push up. Nice. Push up. Push up. It's all right if your hands aren't exactly in line. That's probably a bit better for a variation for our body. Push up. But shoulders always in line with your wrists and elbows tucked in as much as you can. One last push up. Yay, nice. Okay. Grab your object. Back down on the ground. Last set of these. Tilt your pelvis. Opposite knee to elbow. Oh, not yet. Hang on. Okay, you can go now. If you want, you can lift your neck and your head up. Or you could lift the other leg up without your neck and your head. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, give yourself a little test. Are you squeezing hard enough? Have a little punch. It's good, guys. Uh-oh. Keep going, keep going. Okay. Switch sides. Sorry, my Google Assistant came up and wrecked the timer a little bit. bit weird. Keep going on this side. Push up. Yeah, it's nice. Right angles. Let's do another five, four, three, two, one. Ah, well done. You guys, you guys, you're on fire tonight. You are killing it, Lydia V. Killing it. Okay. Have some water. Mop your brow. Oh, we've got heaps of time. Sweet. Okay, two more moves. I've done these moves before. I'll show you side on and front on. So you come down. You can be up on your um, on your toes if you like. You don't need to have your heels flat. If you can get your heels flat, great. And we're gonna move. Do a bit of um, ape side movement to the side, to the side, and then go back. Okay, so yeah, it's like your hands are on train tracks. Put my hand in line with my opposite foot and then hop over. If you don't want to do that, come down into a kind of half squat position and little crab walks. Okay, option. And then you're going to grab this again, your object, and we're going to do glute bridges. And you have a few options how you do this. Whichever way you do it, I want you to squeeze the object between your knees. 
Her tissue box might be taking a bit of a hammer in, eh? If you've got something soft. And we're gonna do, we're gonna come up, squeeze, come down. Up, squeeze, and down. If you're near a couch, table, handily placed ottoman, and you wanna make this um, a bit more intense, put your feet up, squeeze, and down. Main thing is keep squeezing your object. Okay? Same again, 40 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, three times, uh, three times round, rest whenever you need. Hey Charles. Okay, so we're down on the ground, yeah? Let's go down. We're gonna do our lateral ape crawls. Or if you don't wanna do these, remember if you don't wanna do these, knees bent and little crab walks. You do what feels right for you, okay? You go as far as you like, depending on your space. It's good, guys. You've got eight seconds to go. Done. Grab your object. Stick it between your knees. Glute bridges. Remember, you can do them elevated if you wish. If you do them on the ground, feet flat. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your knees together, squeeze your butt. We come up, we pause for a second, and then come back down. Remember, you can do them elevated, be a bit more intense. If you want more intensity, that's what to do. But keep squeezing that yoga block. So if you tap on it, it's not gonna go anywhere. Or your Tupperware, or whatever it is you may be using. You've got 10 seconds, guys. Keep going, you're almost there. You can do anything for 10 seconds, right? Squeeze your bum, hold, and down. Two, one, done. Nice. Okay, we're back up. Remember, you've got your options. Option number one, knees soft, little crab walks to one side and back. Or, if you want, we're done on the ground for a lateral, lateral ape move, whatever you fancy. That's good, guys. Awesome. Nice and light. If you're down on the ground, you're nice and light with your landing. Yeah. Ninja. You're a ninja. Beautiful. Looking good, everybody. Nice, well done. Whew, my legs are on fire. Grab your um, your object. Put it between your knees, lie down. Squeeze your knees. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. More intensity. Feet come up. Don't stop squeezing, give a little check. Yeah, good, nice. You're almost there, guys. Keep going. Well, actually, you're only just over halfway, so not, not almost done. Sorry. Uh, you're almost done now. Ten seconds. Keep squeezing that block. Keep squeezing your glutes. Pause at the top and up. Two, one. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, remember, options. Soft knees. Crab walk to the side, or you're down on the ground and do some lateral movement in your egg. Soft. I bet you're a good ninja, Tyler. I bet you're doing it super soft. Hey? That's good, guys. Keep going. Almost there. Going good, guys. You got five seconds to go. You kill it. That's one. Boom. Ah, oh, 
Nice. You guys, you're on fire. Oh, hey, Jukes. Hey, Dai. Hey, Cass. Okay, come down. Chuck your object between your knees. Come down. Squeeze. Squeeze your knees together. Come up and down. Squeeze up and down. Good stuff, guys. Remember, you want it a bit more intense. Put your feet up. Whatever feels good for you. Squeeze. Hold at the top. Slowly come down. Hold at the top and come down. Just double check your blocks held nice and tightly or your shoe box or your book or your Tupperware. Whatever you might have. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Whoa. Have a little rest. Have some water. We've got two more exercises to do. Okie dokie. So, your object, if your object isn't squishy, you can use it for this. If your object is squishy, you might just want to do it without your object. We're going to do toe taps onto your object, okay? Tap, tap. Okay, option one. If you want to go a little bit quicker, you can. Okay, tap. Nice and light, nice and light. Up to you how fast you go. And then we've got slow mountain climbers. Options. You can do them elevated on your couch. Whatever you have. Right, come in and out. I'm rounding my shoulders a little bit to create space for my knee to come in. And it's slow, it's slow. Or you can do them on the ground. Shoulders over your wrists, same deal if you're on your couch. Nice and slow. So it's my core that's pulling my legs in. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the, is pulling my legs in. It's my core, not necessarily my legs. Okay, you ready for that? We're gonna do three rounds of those. So if you've got a tissue box or something that will crumple easily, it might already be a bit better. So maybe just, just do it on the ground. If you have an object that will not collapse if being tapped on, use that. So, pace is up to you. You can slow down, you can speed up, and you can rest whenever you like. I feel like this is, I should be doing some Scottish dancing. Paddy Bine. No, I won't. Okay, keep going. Little taps, little taps. Little taps, 10 seconds. Whoa, steady on yoga block. Almost there. Five. Four, three, two, one, done. Nice. Slow mountain climbers. Remember, your core is pulling your legs up. Doesn't matter if you're elevated on your couch or whatever, or if you do it on the ground. Shoulders over your wrists. Shoulders over your wrists. Check that, okay. Let's go. They're slow. Pause at the end range of motion. And slowly go back. If you need to stop and rest at any time, go for it. If you do these slowly, they are hard. It's good, guys. You're over halfway now. Good. 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Three, two, one. Have a rest. Whoa, wowzers. Okay, we're back to toe taps when you're ready. Remember, you've got different speeds. That might be where you're at tonight. You might, let's go, you might want to go a little bit quicker. If you've still got a fair bit of energy left, you can up the speed as you like. But it's getting it's soft, you ninja, ninja toe tapper. Woo! Over halfway. You can slow down, speed up anytime you like. Rest whenever you need. We've got 10 seconds to go. You guys, it's so good. Three, two, one, done! Oh, okay. We're back down for 
the slow mountain climbers. Whew. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. So you can do these elevated on your couch, but shoulders over your wrists. You can push your shoulder blades up to create more space for your knee to come in. And these are slow. Slow, slow, slow. In and out. You're over halfway now. That's nice, isn't it? In and out. That's good, guys. 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Awesome. Last set of toe taps. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. Three, two, one. Hit it. So you go slow. Or you can go a bit quicker. Or you can go supersonic. Whatever feels good for you. Nice and light. Nice and light. Ninja. Good stuff. Nice and tall. That's good, that's good. You got 10 seconds to go. Now. That's it guys, keep it going, keep it going. Four, three, two, one. Yeah! Whew, okay, last set of mountain climbers. Very last set. Remember, if you do them elevated, sometimes you might end up like this a little bit. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. So if you're doing them elevated, shoulders are still over your wrists. Good. Same as if you're doing them on the ground. That's good, guys. Nice and slow. So it's your core that's pulling your legs in. Nice. Doing really well. You've got 10 seconds to go. Almost there. Two, one. Oh, lovely. Whilst you're here, take a little downward dog. Good. If you can, come onto all fours. Lift your right arm up, right up, right up, stretch it up, stretch it up. So you're getting as close to stacking your shoulders as you can. And then come under. If you want this, if this hand goes forward, that'll stretch your lats. If you put it behind your back, get more into your shoulder. Hold it here. Good. Slowly come up, left arm up. Stack it as much as you can. Hold it there, hold it there. Okay, come under. Again, reach over if you want to stretch down the side here or roll back and see if you can roll your shoulder a little bit. I'm gonna keep it forward. Three, two, one, beautiful. Up you pop. Okay, shake everything off. And then slowly, starting from the top of your vertebrae, fold all the way down. When you get to the bottom, hang loose. Just let everything kind of loosen out. And then starting from the bottom, the bottom vertebrae, you're going to come back up. Slowly, slowly, till you get to the top. And you open up. And you're done. Well done. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you just stopped by to say hi, awesome. Um, if you did the class, wicked. If you're watching it on replay, thank you very much. Stay tuned for some announcements on uh, some outdoor group training coming to a park near you. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.